Hi, I'm Erin, a technical writer here at Dagster Labs. Today, my teammate Tim and I are going to share with you what we've been doing to improve the learning curve of Dagster. Before we talk about the projects, I'd like to touch on the motivation behind them. Learning a new tool can be difficult and time consuming. It could be the most powerful, incredible product ever made, and it could solve all of your problems. But if you can't figure out how to use it, then how helpful is it really? Educational resources are an essential part of any product. Documentation, for example, is a product unto itself. And these resources should be empowering, inspiring, and most importantly, easy to follow. A few months ago, Pete, Dagster Lab CEO, talked about the learning curve for Dagster in his master plan blog post. And the takeaway there is that Dagster is as powerful as it is complex, and it can be difficult to learn. There are a large number of concepts to get familiar with, even for the most experienced of engineers. It can be difficult to figure out what you need or where you need to go to find information about it. We've heard a number of users agree that this learning curve is steep, and we wanted you to know that you are heard. Here at Dagster, we believe that we're best in class for data orchestration, but for us to be the go-to for data teams and for you, we had to make it easier to learn and adopt. To do this, we've spent the last quarter working on improving the learning experience and reducing your time to value. Today, it gets better. In this session, Tim and I will share what we've been working on, resources to empower and inspire not only you, but your team and the stakeholders in your organization. Let's start off with Dagster University. We talked with some of our users who revealed that while helpful, the tutorial in our documentation didn't go quite far enough in connecting the dots between all of the concepts in Dagster. To address this, we made Dagster University, which is an in-depth, self-guided learning experience for all Dagster users, both new and advanced. The university's first course, Dagster Essentials, is geared towards creating a solid foundation for Dagster beginners to build on. With detailed explanations, quizzes, and practice problems, this course will help you and your team get to your aha moment in no time. And don't just take it from me. The wonderful Dagster users who helped us test drive this course have said that Dagster University addresses what was once a huge gap in Dagster education. We have received ringing endorsements from our early users, some of whom are quoted here. And we're absolutely thrilled at this initial reception and so excited to share this resource with you and the community. Let's take a quick look around Dagster University and what you get when you enroll. To get started, we'll go to courses.dagster.io and click Get Started, where you'll be prompted to create an account. I already have one, so let's skip the creation and get right to the good stuff. Once enrolled, you can see everything in the course and move through the lessons at your own pace. Dagster Essentials contains nine lessons, a capstone project, and an extra credit lesson, all of which are only focused on the, you guessed it, essential concepts to building in Dagster. Each Dagster Essentials lesson gently introduces a different Dagster concept by using common, non-technical examples like baking cookies before going into more detail. Each lesson also contains several points to check your knowledge along the way. For example, there are some quick quizzes and practice exercises which will allow you to apply what you've learned and check your work as you go. Once completed, you'll receive a completion certificate that you can use to share your achievement. You can even use the Add to LinkedIn button on this page to add it to your certification section of your LinkedIn profile. Dagster Essentials is free and available to everyone. All you need to do is sign up at courses.dagster.io. Once enrolled, you can track your progress and learn at your own pace. And now I'll hand it off to Tim to talk about the other project, Dagster Open Platform. Thank you, Aaron. As she mentioned, my name is Tim, and I'm a developer advocate for Dagster. Learning Dagster isn't a journey that ends once your first assets are made. There are multiple resources available to you to get started with using Dagster, like our documentation, and now Dagster University, as Aaron has just shown you. These resources are amazing, and they're great ways to get started using Dagster properly, and will shorten the early learning curve of using DAGs for your organization. Earlier during launch week, we talked about how we don't want to be prescriptive or limiting in how Dagster is used, which is why our APIs like asset checks are so flexible. Using Dagster can branch you in various directions, and we've heard feedback 
that after having the fundamentals in place and being comfortable with all the different concepts available to them with Dagster, users can do what they need to, but want a vote in confidence that there is a best practice or recommendation in how something can be done. And we want to help you with this. As the open source maintainers that we are, we figured radical transparency is the best way to do this, which is why we are open sourcing Dagster Open Platform. Dagster Open Platform is a complex and at scale Dagster project. This project is available as an open source public repository for others to reference and use as inspiration. Dagster Open Project applies best practices in data engineering to build complex asset-based pipelines with Dagster and other popular tools like Stitch and DVT. As a matter of fact, this project contains the exact end-to-end -end pipelines that we use to run our own business. Therefore, if you're a high-growth startup or a budding data team, this should also serve as an amazing reference for what it means to run a data platform at a SaaS business. With Launch Week, we are open sourcing the Dagster Open Platform repository and will be migrating more of our internal Dagster pipelines to this repository as time goes on. This way, you can apply the same patterns and mental models to your own data platform, not just as you're developing it within the first month, but also as you're evolving it six months to a year down the line. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks, Tim. We wanna leave you with a little bit more than Dagster University and the open platform. If you're brand new to data engineering or Python, we have a few other re resources that can help get you moving. You can check out the Python for Beginners blog series to master the basics of Python or the data engineering glossary to expand your vocabulary. And lastly, there are always the Dagster docs, which we're always working on improving. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you at the remaining launch week sessions.